But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope uh, my voice came in good and clear. Please invite your friends and let us have some halal fun. Uh, you know, there is many things the Muslims they have in their religion and obviously it is something stolen from somebody else. And that's why neither the Muslims, neither Muhammad can explain them. If you ask a Muslim what the word uh, Ishmael mean, he don't know. Okay, Abraham, we do not know. Okay, Christ, we do not know. Uh, Isaac, we don't know. Adam, we don't know. Eve, we do not know. So what Islam knows then? For all those and many others, it's countless actually, in, in, we have to count forever. All of them, they are stolen from somebody else, and Muhammad do not know. And Muhammad, he have a habit, always, when somebody put him in the corner, he try to, ex to exit the corner, you know, by saying, Allah knows best. As an example. A bunch of Jews ask Muhammad a question about the seven sleepers. Muhammad, you know, uh, what he will do now? He is a prophet, and a prophet, he have to give an answer. And the answer should come very fast. And Muhammad, he come with the answer. In chapter 18, the whole chapter, by the way, is the most laughable part of the Quran. The whole chapter, I advise you to read it, you will die laughing. It's a cartoon by itself. So, some they say to Muhammad, they ask him, how many are they, the seven sleepers? I mean, the question, have the answer. <laughs> Muhammad is not sure, he's worried. It's a trap. The Jews, they ask questions to get him busted. So, how I can avoid the wrong answer? So look what happened. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to read the verse for you in the Quran. You read it. Very funny, very silly, very stupid. Some they say to you, they were three and their dog is number four. Well, some they say they are four and their dog is number five. And some they say they are five and their dog is number six. And some they say they are six and their dog is number seven. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, and what is the answer? What is the answer? My Lord knows best their number. <laughs> My Lord knows best their answer. And actually, I found a video in uh, Omad, uh, Sheikh Omad channel. Uh, I found it very funny. And speaking about this matter, 
And let's put it for you in the screen. This is Ali Dawa speaking to a Kurdish man, and Ali Dawa himself is a Kurdish man. And the Kurdish man, he have an, oh no, questions about this cult. But Ali Dawa, he will give him the answer. Iraqi Kurd, yeah. I'm Turkish Kurd. I'm killed a lot of bastards in the name of Islam attacking us. Okay, so there is a lot of bad people. Kurdish bad people, Turkish bad people. Okay. But what I'm saying is, uncle, like... Okay, I, let, let me tell you. Yeah. In, in, in Quran, yeah. it says about Ahl al-Kahf. They yeah. say it is... They were four, and 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 their fifth is dog. Yeah, dog. some say yeah. yeah. And then some says their fifth six, yeah, and the yeah. sixth is dog. Yeah. Some say six, and okay, you are. This is come from God. Yeah. Did the God didn't know how many they are? No, no, no. But Allah doesn't tell them. They get. These are just scholars. They they just. Um, this, God didn't ask them to know. They don't no. need to know. <laughs> no, this is this. Uh, it, Brother, the, the, those are the scholars. They do not need to know. But, God don't want them to know what the heck. They are asking a specific question. And I mean, we are not talking about nukes. It's not a secret. It's not a war secret. There's a bunch of guys. They have a dog with them. How many there are? Very simple. I mean, what, what, what this drama is about. They are not asking something about how God created the earth and heaven, how you made the eye. I mean, it's just a simple story. There's a bunch of guys mentioned in the previous generations you know this is a fiction story this is not true and how many they are muhammad what the answer is listen carefully this is ali dawa the scholars in the time of muhammad there was a scholars what the scholars for what scholars of who there's muslim scholars at that time muhammad himself is the is the prophet there only the scholars, and they are asking him to ask his God, and the God he did not know. Listen carefully again. The guy he asking question, what kind of religion your God cannot even tell? I mean, very simple question. What I'm saying is, uncle, like... Let, 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 I, let, let me tell you. Yeah. In, in, in Quran, yeah. it says about Ahl al-Kahf. They yeah. say it is... There were four, and, and, and their fifth is dog. Yeah, dog. some say, yeah. yeah. And then some say, their fifth, six, yeah, and the yeah. sixth is dog. Yeah. Some say, six, and okay, you are, this is come from God. Yeah. Did the God didn't know how many they are? No, 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 but Allah doesn't tell them. They get, these are just scholars. They, they just, um, this, God didn't ask them to know. They don't no. need to know. <laughs> no, this is, this, if this come from Allah. No, no, of course. Why yes. Allah didn't know? There were five plus the no, dog. No, no, dog, Allah, no, Allah, no, 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 no. Allah knows, but He didn't mention it. What? The people, the scholars, uh -huh. they are thinking. So why, is, why is it? No, in no, the no. Quran? The people, the scholars, they are thinking. So why, is, why is it? No, in no, the no. Quran? What, no, what the scholars are saying. The scholars saying, I think. 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 There was five, and the six was dog. Some are saying, No, I believe. Why? Because, because, no, because Allah didn't mention it. It's in Quran. No, I know, but Allah didn't give it a number. He, so, he, did, he didn't want no one to know. These people are guessing. He, did, he didn't want no one to know. These people are guessing. These people are guessing. These people are guessing. <laughs> and those people are guessing. Like, what the heck? <laughs> what do you mean he didn't want them to know? Why? I mean, what is the secret behind it? It's a, 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 and supposedly those are even a bunch of a Christians. They run away because they were discriminated. A king want to kill them because they become a Christians. The question is very simple. How many there are? That's it. So what this drama is about, why, do, why Allah don't want them to know? I mean, those guys are dead already. You see, if we are talking about somebody is hiding somewhere, uh, you know, the, the, uh, like uh, uh, Putin will send his, uh, uh, you know, puppies to arrest him. Or, uh, those guys are dead long time ago. And the story is a fiction story anyway. So why Allah don't want to tell us even the numbers? Because Muhammad is afraid. Afraid to say the number and somebody will get him busted. So what Muhammad he do? Allah knows best their number. They are asking you about the number. Where is the answer? So imagine you go to an exam in the school. And then they ask you a question. And you claim to be a prophet to have knowledge from God. And now you receive the answer from God himself. And the answer is, 
I know best. You do not know their number. So where is their number? <laughs> come from Allah yes. or not? Yes. So why Allah then make it specifically? Okay, because there's things Allah tells people and there's things he doesn't tell them. Now, there's things he tells them and there's things he don't tell them. Now we go to the Holy Spirit topic. This is Shabir Ali. He have his own program. And as you know, Shabir Ali is a brave man who ran away from debating me. And uh, this is supposed to his daughter. They told me his daughter. I thought she is a stranger. She is, you know, the, the question is, what is the Holy Spirit in the Quran? What is the Holy Spirit in the Quran? Okay, so. Ali from the Islamic Information Center. Dr. Shabir, tell me about the Holy Spirit. Is there any mention of it in the Quran? Well, yes. Uh, more technically, um, the Quran mentions uh, Ruhul Qudus, which uh, literally would mean the spirit of holiness. And uh, there are a few mentions of that term in the Quran. Uh, most often, Ruh or spirit is mentioned in the Quran without uh, the extension uh, spirit of holiness. Uh, but nonetheless, we are talking about a spirit that is holy, uh, that is uh, close to God and uh, in, in what way this relates directly to God. Uh, this is not entirely spelled out uh, in the Quran. But the Quran itself uh, cautions us by saying, yes, they ask you concerning the spirit. Uh, say the spirit is by uh, the command of my Lord or the spirit is from among the affairs of uh, my Lord. And you have not been given of knowledge except a little. Do you see? The same thing again. Muhammad, he keeps saying the spirit, the spirit, the spirit. They ask him, what is the spirit? What is the answer? Allah, he answered them saying, the spirit is from the command of Allah and you do not know much. This is what they are asking you. They are asking you. You tell them you do not know much. So now what is the spirit? Shabir Ali, he confirmed that we as a Muslim, we know nothing really about the Holy Spirit. Uh, so mm -hmm. that cautions us uh, from thinking we know much about the Holy Spirit. Whatever mm -hmm. else is said about uh, the Spirit in the Quran, uh, we must uh, fall back on uh, the uh, humble position of saying that we, we don't really know much about the Spirit. <laughs> Did you hear it? Did you hear it? What happened to the thief? This is what happened when you are a thief. I go to university and I claim to be a professor in physics. And then somebody asked me 42xy plus etc minus etc and percentage of etc and the speed of light. And you know, and what does that mean? I say to him, Allah knows best. You see how Muhammad, he established a religion? It turned to be that the Muslim, they have no idea whatsoever what is that spirit. And this is not me saying that, listen carefully, Muslim, this is not Christian Prince opinion. Listen carefully. They ask you concerning the spirit. Uh, say the spirit is by uh, the command of my Lord or the spirit is from among the affairs of uh, my Lord. And you have not been given of knowledge except a little. Uh, so mm -hmm. that cautions us uh, from thinking we know much about the Holy Spirit. Whatever mm -hmm. else is said about uh, the spirit in the Quran. Uh, we must uh, fall back on uh, the uh, humble position of saying that we, we don't really know much about the spirit. Mm. So, so Muslims, if you call me, here we go. My name is Arabian prophet. I am sent by Allah. Call me, ask me any question you want. I will give you a very easy answer. Allah knows best. I am sure you will be satisfied. So this funny book who keeps saying the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, and yet nobody in this religion knows what is the Holy Spirit. And then you will find the Abdul in the comment section saying to me, no Christian Prince, we knew the Holy Spirit is Jibreel. There is not a single verse in the Quran says that this is Jibreel. 
Where in the Quran we can find the verse saying that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit? Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim in the chat can help us? I can open Skype and you can call me. Let me open Skype so we can receive calls in case there is any Muslim. He want to try his best to prove to us that Islam is not a silly religion. It's not a theft. It's not a cult born of other beliefs. It is something real. There is no way this guy Muhammad is a prophet, yet he do not know what is the Holy Spirit. And there is no way there is a book, the Quran claimed that the book is the book, the uh, Quran is the book of guidance. Yet this God, he forgot to tell the Muslim that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit. Did Allah ever say that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit? Any Muhammadan? My Skype is open. Feel free. I will be happy to just text me. You know? Uh, and I will be happy to take your, you know, your, your request. So how Muhammad claiming to be a prophet? If we go in the Quran, we will find, if we mention the Holy Spirit, we will find the following. Something wrong with this. Chapter 2, verse number 87. The Messiah, Isa, supposedly, is the one who was sponsored or supported by Ruh al-Qudus. Ruh mean spirit. Qudus mean holy. So this is about the Messiah. You see, it's attached to the Messiah. We go to different verse. Chapter 2, verse number 253 in the Quran, the chapter of the cow again. As you know, the Muslim origin is Hindus. Here again it says that the Messiah, the son of Mary, we gave him a clear proofs and evidence and we supported him with the Holy Spirit. Between two brackets, the Muslim, they are Jibreel. But in the Quran, nowhere it says Jibreel. Let me put it in the screen in case you don't see it in the screen. Give me a second. Actually, the screen was off, right? Let me go back then. So this is chapter 287. As you see, it's about Jesus. The chapter of Al-Baqarah, the cow. It's about Jesus. You will see always the second you say Holy Spirit, you see Jesus. And then we go to different verse. Chapter 2, verse number 53. Again, we supported him with the Holy Spirit. We go to different verse. Chapter 5, verse number 110. It's about Jesus. And we supported him with what? With the Holy Spirit. Between two brackets, the Muslim, the Ajibril. And this is, you see, how the forgery, even for their book, work. If Allah did not say Jibreel, why you put Jibreel? Can't Allah use the word Jibreel? The do Allah is like, do Allah is missing the name? He does not know to say Jibreel? Obviously, if it's Jibreel, Jibreel is a well known person, and the Quran mentioned the name Jibreel many times. But nowhere in the Quran Allah says Jibreel is the Holy Spirit. So how the Muslim they come to such a conclusion that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit? Muhammad says so. But shouldn't Muhammad go by the Quran? Same time. And here I want uh, uh, people to focus with me. Again, if you are a Muslim, you can text me in Skype. And I will be happy to take you. Uh...
Yeah, my friend, if, if you have a friend, Muslim friend, he can text me. That's what we are saying. Don't, you, need to, you do not need to ask me. If you have a Muslim, he want to call me. Always, Muslims are welcome. But remember, I'm not staying online in my Skype. I open it only when I go live. The coward who won't debate a real Muslim. Let us see this guy. Look like he is a real Muslim. Let us see. The only real Muslim I know is Ultimate Fort. <laughs> who accept the corrupt Quran. Let us call this kid. He said to me, you are a coward, you don't accept to debate a real Muslim. So I became curious now. We are trying to call him, but we are not reaching yet. <clears throat> let's try, let's try again. You see what he's saying to me? Look at this. And the funny is, his name is Tony. I mean, he's a Muslim, he called himself Tony. <laughs> and I called him to say, you know, no, no answer. He did not answer. Let us call him again. Tony, the real Muslim. Muhammad became Tony now. Okay, he's not answering. Let us see who is next. Uh, Let us see this guy. You see, we are trying to give the Muslims the opportunity to explain their cult to us. But as you see, their prophet cannot explain, their God can't explain. They do not know what they are worshipping. This, uh, this is a false religion. It's not even a religion. It's just a collection of theft. It is nothing but a collection of theft. Uh, what's up? The guy is saying, what's up? Uh, yeah, let us call him. <clears throat> we are calling this guy who called himself. Hello? Uh, let us see who is the princess, my friend. So, are you going to insult or are you going to debate? Would you want to talk about Christian princess? Well, we are talking. If you want to call me princess, I will insult your prophet. So, are you asking me to insult your prophet? Oh, uh, princess, I've heard you do it. Okay, well, you know what? You are a son of Muta, I like your prophet. Here we go. Coward. Yeah, you can't even speak to them. I mean, you try to speak to them nicely, but they ask for it. Princess. Well, I'm not the one who put eyeliner three times a day. It's your prophet. I am not the one who pissed sitting down like a woman. It's your prophet. I'm not the one who could not have sex. He prayed to Allah to send him a dish of shish kebab. That is your prophet. I'm not the one who'd kiss men down their belly. That's your prophet. I am not the man who take off my t-shirt so somebody can hug me and touch me all over. I'm not the one who offer my wife to somebody else. I'm not the one who offer you to do muta. And you are talking about princess. Shall I continue? Cowards. They insult, so you hang up on them, then they will say he hang up on me. Princess, are you son of Muta or you are son of one night stand marriage? Have you ever heard of a prophet he make one night stand marriage? Two hours marriage? Travel marriage, tourism marriage, all kind of a prostitution is marriage for you. And you are talking about princes, the one who have an honor, he will not accept to follow a religion. If you divorce your wife, she have to go and if somebody in order to come back to you. And you are talking about who is the princess, obviously you are. What is your honor? <laughs> Imagine your daughter, 
Her husband divorced her three times. And she have kids from him. She want to go back for the sake of her kids. Now she have to go. And if somebody else, in order to come back, and he is talking about princes, you brought all this insult to your prophet and your religion. It's your handmaid. So we go back to our topic. As you see, they don't dare to answer. They have no answer. They are here just to insult. And then when you whip the floor with them, they complain. So, the Messiah was supported by the Holy Spirit. Was Muhammad supported by the Holy Spirit? Chapter 16, verse number 102. It says, look what the Muslim they add. This is the Muslim adding. The one who sent it down, say, the one who sent it down is the Holy Spirit. The Muslim, they add Jibreel. But nowhere in the Quran says that Muhammad, he was sponsored or supported by the Holy Spirit. Same time, if the one who sent it down is the Holy Spirit, how that become Jibreel? Because the Quran says that Allah too, he sent down the Quran. Here we go. So what the Muslim they say, well, the Quran says that the one who sent down the Quran is the Holy Spirit. And the one who received the Quran from Muhammad, or Muhammad received from, is Jibreel. So obviously, it's the same person. No. Because the Quran says it clearly that the one who sent the Quran is Allah. You see, the Muslim here, they are translating the word sent down as the word reveal. But the word in Arabic, anzalta. Or, you know, yeah, anzaltu. So, uh, uh, I sent down to you. You change the translator right away, you will see how the drama change. Who is the one who sent down the Quran? Allah. I have sent down. So, if the other verse saying that Allah, he sent down the Quran with the Holy Spirit, or the Holy Spirit sent down the Quran, not with the Holy Spirit, actually, the verse says, the Quran sent down by the Holy Spirit. And this verse says, I sent down the Quran. Who is talking? If the Holy Spirit is the one who sent down the Quran, that means this verse is speaking about the Holy Spirit too. And that means the Quran is not from Allah, it is from the Holy Spirit, whoever that person in Islam is. Okay. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Are you a Muslim? Yeah, I I'm I have been Muslim for my entire life. Okay, that's good. Until about uh, one year ago. All right. Because, um, yeah, I wanted to know a, a lot more about the Islam and become an even better Muslim. That's wonderful. As long but, as long you've been a Muslim all your life, so already you know a lot about Islam, right? Um, I think so. I, okay. I was so what is the Holy Spirit? What is the Holy Spirit in Islam? As I am, to to be honest. I don't know what the Holy Spirit in Quran is supposed to be, and those were actually not my questions. I know, but you see, we have a topic, and we can go to your question, yeah. but let's finish this one first. Don't, you don't mind, right? I mean, we have time. So, yeah. uh, you are a Muslim all your life. Didn't you, shouldn't you ask yourself, what is the Holy Spirit? The Quran keeps mentioning the Holy Spirit all over the place, right? Yeah, that's a good question. Okay. It's, yeah. So, and... why you don't, you know, what what is, a, what is you, like, a, your accomplishment after all your life being a Muslim? I don't know how old are you. But all your life you are a Muslim, praying to Allah, and you know the Quran, and you read, and you say you have a good knowledge, 
And yet you are saying to me, you do not know what is the Holy Spirit. So are you saying you have zero knowledge of what is the Holy Spirit? That's actually um, true, yeah. Why? Because I think the Holy Spirit, uh, right now, as of right now, I think the Holy Spirit doesn't exist in the Quran. Hmm. So, the, but the Quran says the Holy Spirit. What do you mean right now? I mean, the book is a, is a book sent to Muhammad supposedly 1400 years ago, right? Yeah, that's true. Okay, so when Muhammad received a book saying the Holy Spirit, well, obviously the Holy Spirit is exist, correct? Yeah. Okay, so who, what is the Holy Spirit? So it doesn't matter if it's now or in the time of Muhammad, the Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit. So what is the Holy Spirit? You just said you do not know. Do you have any sheikh you can call so he can join us? No, I'm sorry, I don't have that. Okay, but uh, you are saying to me that you never ever heard a Muslim can explain to you what is the Holy Spirit? No, I don't think so. I actually didn't want to get into a debate with you. I just said. No, we are not debating, my friend. I'm not. I don't debate Muslims actually. You know, in order to debate a Muslim, I have to find somebody who's qualified to debate me, and I'm not debating you. I'm just having a conversation with you. We are not debating. Okay, we are just having. You know, if if I have, if you are in front of me, I will be happy to make coffee for you. You are welcome. You know, to drink with me. So we are not debating. Uh, so when a Muslim he says to us the word holy, what holy mean? I'm afraid I'm not able to answer that for you. Even the word because... holy, you do not know what holy is. So why, well, holy, you know what holy mean? I mean, come on, is, is it holy? When I say, is God is holy? Is your God holy? It, it, I think he's supposed to be. Okay, but that's mean you know what holy is. Otherwise, why you say to me, your God is holy, but you do not know what holy mean? So are you attaching a description to your God? You do not know what the description is? It might be a bad description. So. You agreed right away because obviously you know what holy means. So what holy mean? God. Holy mean God. That's wonderful, guys. I, I love this question and, and this answer. Holy? Holy mean God. Or only God is holy. Now, uh, I want to ask you, did, did the angels in Islam commit sin? Sorry, I didn't get the last part. The angels in Islam, do they commit sin? I don't know. You do not know. Well, if you go in, do you know the story of Adam? Um, yeah, kind of. Uh, okay. So if you remember in the story of Adam, uh, uh, Allah, he said to the angels, uh, I'm going to make somebody to inherit the earth, you know? And the angels, they said to him, are you going to create someone he will do mischief in the earth. You know the story, right? I have heard of that, yeah. Okay. So, in chapter 2, verse number 30, it says, And when your Lord said to the angels, Verily I'm going to place someone, a human, uh, I mean, this translation is very funny, to inherit the earth. You know, let us change the translator. This guy is here, is messed up. What, what is your favorite translation? Do you know? Do you have a favorite translation? A favorite translation? Yeah, or translator? You mean from a spe specific author, from a specific translator or what? Yeah, like, you know, there's any translation you like. Do you speak Arabic? No, I don't. Okay. I actually... So don't let us go carry it. This is here. I don't know what translation is that. It says here, when the Lord says into the angels, I am about to place a visory or like a, a person who inherited the earth. They said, will thou place therein the one who will do harm therein? And will shed the blood while we will uh, like pray for you, sing for you, sanctify thee. Uh, he said, Surely I know which you know not. Okay, so here the angels uh, they are questioning the decision of Allah. Allah, He want to create a human, and that is Adam, supposedly. And the angels are questioning God is it, is it, a, is it a sin in Islam to question God why you want to do that, or it's not a sin? It's obviously a sin. It is a sin. But let's continue. The story is not over here. If you go here, 
The verse after it, and remember, this is chapter of the cow, chapter 2, verse number 30 and 31 and 32. And then Allah, he taught, he taught Adam all the names. Then he showed them uh, to the angels, saying, Inform me of the names of those if you are truthful. So my friend, I do not know your name. You do not need to tell me if it's up to you. But imagine, let us say your name is Ahmad. Imagine, Ahmad, I say to you, Tell mm -hmm. me this thing if you are truthful. That's mean I'm accusing you to be a liar, correct? Sorry, what? When Allah, he said to the angels, Allah, he told the names to the angels. The yes. angels is the one who accused Adam. He would do mischief and question the decision of Allah. And you agree, this is sin. And then the Allah, he want to give like an exam, a quiz, a test. So he said, okay, I taught Adam the names, names of things like a tree, a table, chair, whatever, you know. And then he said to the angels, okay, those things have names. You claim that you know the unseen, you know what will happen in the future. Can you tell me the names of those things if you are truthful? Truthful about what? Truthful about what they claim that Adam will do. Correct? Correct. Okay. So if you are truthful, and the angels, they said, well, we do not know the names. That's mean they are not truthful. They fail. If they are truthful, they can answer about the names. If they do not know the names, as we see in verse number 32, they do not know the names. They said to him, be glorified. We have no knowledge, saving what you have taught us. So obviously, the angels in Islam, they are not truthful. Then how... Ruh al Qudus, according to Muhammad, is Jibreel. If the angels are not truthful, and Jibreel is one of the angels, what do you think? Can I ask my questions now? Yeah, but I, I, we know when I finish this. I, 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 just two minutes. What do you think, business? And so, Muhammad, he was wrong, right? There's no way that the Holy Spirit is Jibreel, because holy is God. You said to me, God, which means holy. He don't do he don't he don't do mistakes, right? He don't do errors. He don't do he don't do he don't lie. He don't do or sin. He's perfect. This is what holy. So holy is not Jibreel, or Jibreel, as you see in the Quran. And we're talking about Islam, not Christianity. In Islam, the angels of Allah, they are not holy. Now go. On. What is your question, my friend? All right. Thank you. First of all, um, I actually want, um, was confronted with a few uh, kind of controversial passages or hadith about uh, Muhammad. Okay. And I wanted, uh, um, wanted you to ask, I want to ask you if you could show the exact hadith where I could find them and think about them and maybe show them to my fellow friends. Okay, what is the hadith about? Also get the possibility to talk, uh, to think about it. Okay, what, to... what is the hadith about? Uh, one is about, uh, uh, I don't know if I should say it loud, loud on in the internet, but uh, one is about um, having tie sex with infants, and the other is about uh, when Muhammad put his tongue into a child's mouth. Yeah, the first one is not um, is not Muhammad saying that. The first one is about uh, a book, it's called Tahrir al Wasila. And I will post the link in the chat. Uh, yes. Tahrir al Wasila is a Shia book, not Sunni book. And okay. Shia and Sunni, both of them, they agree that there is no age for sex with the children, you know. Uh, however, uh, they follow the steps of the Prophet. So the Prophet, if you go and watch all Muslim who claim to be cleric or have knowledge they say well you know you look at the girl if she can handle it you go for it if she cannot handle it you don't go for it so what if she cannot handle it the answer is very simple you can enjoy her sexually without intercourse uh, and let me i will give the link in arabic you can use any uh, any 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 translation mm -hmm. uh, and here we have i will post the link in the chat this is the book of Tahrir al-Wasila, volume number two, page number 241. Here it says, 
Problem number 12. And I will use Google Translation so you can read with me. But for now, let us read in Arabic first. It says, Problem number 12. It's not lawful for him uh, to, to, uh, to have sex with the wife if she is under the age of nine. So you can marry her. She's a wife, as you say, you know. Uh, however, even if the, uh, uh, if the act of sex is uh, uh, continue or like uh, not continues, but all kind of sexual joys like touch with desire hugs or putting your thing between her legs it's okay even if she is an infant and now i will use google translation all right and this is problem number 12 as we showed it is not permissible to have intercourse with the wife before completing nine years. But you can marry her before nine years. So what do you do? You married her now, she's your wife. Like Muhammad, he married six years old, but he did intercourse according to, had to Hadith at the age of nine. So what he was doing between six and nine, read carefully. Whether the marriage is permanent or uh, not. I don't think this is about the marriage, it was about the sexual act. As for all pleasures, such as touching with desire, cuddling, and uh, of, of f fagining, I don't know what this word means. Uh, this is the word here. It should be like putting your thing between her thigh. There is nothing wrong with it, even if the female is an infant. You see it? I'm yes. going. I'm going to pause the link now. Let me use Google uh, shrinking uh, because this is having an uh, Arabic contact. I don't know if. Uh, let me see if I can post it directly in the chat. I don't think so. It says more than 60, 266 uh, text. Okay, hold on. Um, if you want to, you can send it on to our Skype um, chat. Well, I, I don't, I did not add you, so I cannot send. And I don't send links. When I send links for everybody, it's better. Uh, your friend who is with you, he can save the link for you if you are not there. And right. here we go. Yes. I just make it short. Anybody can open it. Anybody can read it. So this is the first one about you. You know about you as a Muslim, you can have sex with a with a wife, which means you can marry children, even if they are infant. Marrying an infant is okay, you know, because remember when he said, even if she is an infant, talking about what? Talking about a wife. Talking about a wife. So a Muslim, he can marry an infant. However, he cannot, according to the story here, he cannot have full intercourse with her until she is nine years old. But he can do all kind of sexual joys, if they call it joys, I call it pervert joy. Within, even if she is an infant, imagine she is suckling her finger. However, if we go in the Quran to chapter 65, verse number 4, chapter 65 in the Quran is the chapter for divorce. It's called at talaq Talaq means divorce. So in the chapter of the divorce, it says that you can, it's talking about, you know, like the, those who are divorcing them now, and uh, do they need to wait for three months? Because in Islam, if a, if, a, if a female, she got divorced, she have to wait for three months. This is a talaq, a talaq, chapter 65, verse number four. Uh, etc. It says here, <clears> O <throat> uh, Messenger of Allah, they ask him, what about waiting period for those who are, do not have menstruation because they are too young? So now we are talking about divorcing children. What we would do? Should they wait for three months too? They don't have period. Because supposedly we have to give them three period to be sure that they are clean from previous sexual relationship from being having a baby, carrying a baby from previous husband or the last husband. So they are asking him, what about the children? The one who never have their period yet. 
because they are too young. I don't know if you can see my screen. Do you see it? Yes. Okay, it says they are too young. So because they are too young, what we will do? You know? And here the answer is saying it clearly. Well, you know, uh, wait, so what? But they are too young. They never have their period. So Muhammad, he practiced it. The Muslim, they practice it. And there's no age limit in Islam to have sexual relationship with the children, including infant. Did I give you a satisfying answer? Yes. And this is Ibn, uh, this is Tafsir Ibn Abbas. This is the cousin of your prophet. Mm -hmm. This is not anyone. This is not a guy from YouTube. Uh, this is a, a guy. He actually the only one named by Muhammad that he can explain the Quran. Mm -hmm. Muhammad called him Hebrew Ummah, which means that the ink of the knowledge of the nation, the ink of knowledge. He prayed to Allah. He says, Allahumma ja'al ibn Abbas habrun li hadhi al-ummah. So what do you think, my friend? You want to stay in such a religion? No. That's wonderful. I'm happy for I'm you. Kind of upset, even uh, that's also because uh, that's also the reason why I have more questions. Okay. So can we say now that you? I called you Ahmed. I don't know what's your name. I called you Ahmed. So Ahmed, you are out of Islam now, right? Yeah. Okay. What do you think about Christianity? Um, I think highly of it. All right. Why well, you think? Why you think highly about it? You know, the Muslims they say the Bible is corrupt. You know, Christians are bad people, and they said to you, look, look, those Western people they sleep around, they have boyfriend, girlfriend. So why you think about Christianity highly? Um, I don't know it. It's kind of a uh, light in the dark, in my opinion. You see, Christianity is a Christ. Is that, do you agree with me? Yes. It's not me. Correct? Yep. My, my name is a Christian prince, but it doesn't mean I am really uh, a person to take as an example. Our example is a Christ. So the Muslim, they take example as Muhammad. And as you see Muhammad having sex with infants, even he asked for the hand of Fatima, you know, uh, 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 I forgot that, you know, I'm getting old. <laughs> so he asked for her hand when she is an infant. Imagine, he said, if she grow, grow what? Grow to be six years old, she will be my wife. So listen to this. Our best example is a Christ. No one of us can be like him. His name is holy. His act is holy. His birth is holy. He is a miracle and he do miracles. So what is holding you from accepting the Messiah as your Lord? Um, to be honest, maybe my background, maybe my family, and, and that's uh, why I wanted to what, what um, why I wanted to know um, how is uh, what's the best way to tell your loved ones about your decision without uh, splitting ways? Do, do you understand what I mean? My friend, uh, my decision, if my beloved person he is beloved for real, he will never leave you or you will be in choosing what you think is right you know if if this is a, a choice you made the same as the choice you made to marry somebody you know it was a choice so if this woman she accepts you when you are rich but not when you are poor well that means she don't like you she don't care really. she care for your money and the same when you are poor in religion she accept you when you are rich in religion she deny you or the opposite that's me, she don't care for you. For me, I will not really worry about anyone. I worry about my salvation. Which one is more important? A wife, a job, a society, or hellfire in heaven? Yeah, I get your point. If you if you ask me how many people they like what I do, a lot of people, they, they don't. I remember once I went to visit a Christian family. I met them like somewhere. And they were very nice. They invited me to their house. And then in TV, they heard a debate. And it was my voice. They didn't know that this is a Christian prince. The guy, he said to me, is, is that your voice? I said, yeah. You believe it or not, they stopped calling me. They never invited me again. 
And right away, I noticed the wife, she asked him to go to the kitchen and she spoke to him in private and they were terrified. They were afraid maybe the terrorists would come here and kill him. So they cut their relationship with me totally. They did nothing wrong just because I'm a Christian prince. So do you see how high the price is? But I will not change. I don't care if the whole world take me a friend or nobody take me a friend. I have my Lord. You know, his name is Emmanuel. If God is with me, who could be against me? So I say the same to you. Why you are going to be worried about he and she? If Emmanuel, God is with me, is with you. Yes. So do you accept the Messiah well, as well, your Savior, well, my friend? Yes, I would. You would. So do you, are, do you, are you willing to say, I accept the Messiah as my Savior, and I denounce the devil, Muhammad, I will never follow him, I will never accept his book, I will never accept Allah as my God, and I accept Elohim, I accept the Messiah, I accept the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, to be my Lord, my Savior? Yes, that's what I did. I mean to that. I'm really happy for you, my friend. Thank you. Um, one final question. All right. Um, maybe second last question. Um, why do some Jews deny Jesus as the Messiah? Well, this is a wrong understanding, actually. When we say some Jews, uh, actually, you choose the correct word, actually, some Jews. Uh, because some people think that the Jews rejected Jesus. The fact that Jews is the first one who accepted the Messiah. And me and you, we will not be knowing about the Messiah if not Jews. They are the disciple of Jesus. They are the one who spread the message. They are the one who risked their life. They are the one who paid their life. All of them, they died, killed for the sake of the Messiah. So my friend, the Jews, uh, as anywhere, in your house, I don't know if you have kids or not, one no. day you might have, I, I hope not, you might have a son, he spit at you, he called you names, he didn't want to see you, but he's your son. You spend your life feeding him, growing him up, taking him to school, you know, and now he is rebellion against you. This is what we do, my friend, all of us as a human. We go rebellion against God, especially when we become, you know, wealthy, healthy. When a human being remember God, when he is sick, oh, God help me. This is exactly what happened to people. So in a certain time, in a certain point, people, they become greedy, and they look at this person. Who is this person? Okay, he made the miracle, so what? Kill him. We don't, you know, we want somebody to release us from the Jew, from the, from the Roman. We want a revolutionary. We want a guy to carry a sword and make war. We are not expecting, expecting the Messiah to come and teach holiness and do miracles. And what I would, what I would do with him walking in the water? What I would do with him with making the blind see? Did he free me from the Roman? So the Jews, some of the Jews, they were waiting for a rebellion person who was going to wage war against the Roman to give them their land back. This is why some, they rejected him. But not because he was not good, but because he was so good. They wanted a terrorist, to make it simple. <laughs> All right. So, my friend, any, anything else? Do you have any question about Christianity? I will be happy to answer you before you go. Um, as of right now, I'm fully, my questions have been fully answered. Right. Thank you very much. I have a request to you, if you don't mind. I want you yes. to go and start with the book of John. Start sure. reading from first verses, you know, and take your time. And you can watch, there's many videos of Christians explaining the Bible, you know. And uh, in the future, you are welcome to join us in the chat and ask me any question you wish. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Until now, I did not know your name, but you don't have to tell me. It's okay. Take care. God no, bless you. All right. All right, my friend. And say say hello to your friend, the one who introduced me to you. Yeah, he's actually sitting right beside me. All right. I, is, he, is, is he happy for, for the result? <laughs> <clears throat> uh, um, obviously, he's uh, he's uh, he's been Christian all his life. He's from uh, um, ex-Yugoslavian country. Okay. He's my he's kind of my brother. All right. Uh, I'm from a crazy ass um, Muslim country from South Asia. All right, my friend. So now he can take you to his church with him, and now you have a brother who can take you, share with you, you know, and uh, uh, you will have a, a you know a, a long life together. We pray to the Lord 
that your family will see the truth and the truth will set them free. Thanks. You're welcome. Us. Take care. God bless you. Bye -bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thank you. All right. And thanks to the person who introduced you to me. Uh, uh, it was a great opportunity. As you see, Muslims are poor people, do not know. They've been born in such a cult. They've been, okay, Holy Spirit. What Holy Spirit? They don't know. How Jibreel became the Holy Spirit? They do not know. As you see, the Quran confirmed that Jibreel is an angel, and angels are sinners. Actually, according to Al Qurtubi, if we go to the Quran, We have Harut and Marut. Harut and Marut are two angels who Allah sent them down to open a Hori Buter school. You believe it or not, this is what it is. And the verse is on in front of you. According to the Muslim stories, and the funny the Muslim, they say that we are the one who believe in that, which is false, we cannot find anywhere. According to Muslim stories, Allah, he sent two angels. Because those angels, they said to Allah, well, you know, I mean, what, uh, what the point of sending those, uh, you know, Adam, give him the gr ground, when Adam will commit sin. So Allah told them, well, you know what? If I send you down too, you will commit sin too. So that made a challenge to Allah. So Allah gave them all the future of a man. And he sent them down. And then right away when they come down to the ground, they met with the women. Her name is Az-Zuhra. Az-Zuhra is Venus. Venus. The Greek goddess, the beauty gods. And when they met with Venus, both angels, they wanted to have sex with her. Let me show you the book of Al Qurtubi. So, most of them they will not say, I am making things up. Actually, uh, let me try to find you the page number because this website doesn't show the page number. All right. The book of Al Qurtubi, value number two, page number 52. Value number two, page number two, 552. And this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It says here that when Allah he sent down those angels, Harut and Marut, sexual desire overcome to them. And they were in love with the women. Her name is in, uh, in, in uh, I don't know what the word in English, uh, Nabotia. I don't know what her translated word. It's like people who, uh, old nation who used to live long, long before, before the Arab in the desert. Bedacht. And in the Persian language, Nahil. And here, this is telling you that those are, you know, fiction stories. And in Arabic, as Zohra. This is the name of this woman. So right away, when they saw her, they were tempted, and they want to have sex with her. And she said to them, 
I will not let you have sex with me unless you do the following. You drink wine, you kill somebody is forbidden to be killed, and to bow down to the idols. And actually, we have a website in English explaining the story. But this is al Qurtubi. Let me post the link for you. And this is Sunni. Because they might say to you, oh, Shia, they have tons of stories. Oh, you know, those uh, Shia stories. This is Sunni, and we can show it to you from the Shia too. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. You can check it out. You can call them. And you can use Google Translation. Now, there is a website. Let me find it. In English, has the story. Give me a second. I'm trying to find it for you. <clears throat> Instead of going and downloading and, you know, uh, I mean, uh, uh, using Google Translation. Where is her root? Where is her root? Her root and my root. Yeah, here we go. All right. This is the link. Let me pause it for you. And this is totally in English. Thanks to the Muslim, they are they did a good job translated to us. Let me put it in the screen for you, and I will put it in the chat too. This is the story here. The account of Harut and Marut, alislam.org. This is not a Christian prince. This is not a Christian prince translation. It's not a Christian prince words. You know, watch the comment. The Muslim, they say, you Christian prince is a liar. He translates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Potatoes. Let them cry. The account of Harut and Marut. And they give you all the stories exist in the Islamic religion about Harut and Marut. So Allah, he sent those two angels. And they are the best of the angels. The angels, they made the voting. Because there's a challenge. If I send you down to earth, are you going to do the same as Adam? He said, no, we will not do. He said, okay, send, choose the best of your angels, the best of you. So this is better than Jibreel. This is the best, Harut and Marut. So he sent them. Do you see here it says, select two. So he said to the angels, Select two and a being from your community so that I might send them to the earth and give them the nature of a human being and put them a desire for eating, drinking, etc. And this is what happened. They select the best two of the angels and they were sent down to earth. And right away, as long as soon they get down in the earth, a woman walk by. However, she is wearing short skirt. And those are Abdul angels. And you know what will happen if you are an Abdul and you are an angel. Skirt, legs, angel, doesn't work. So right away, when they saw the woman, and she was very hot, extremely hot, like Nancy Lucy, they could not resist the temptation. And even when they asked her to have sex with them, you know, I mean, imagine two angels when I have sex at the same time. What the heck? They are so hot, man. They are eating too much chili food. And look what the, he says here. Now, the three sin confront us drinking wine, having illegal sexual intercourse. Okay. So this woman, she said to them, if you want to do those things, I can let you have sex with her, which means the women, with me. If you do the following, which is drinking wine, uh, 
worshipping idols and killing an innocent person. A beggar he entered the, the, the tent when she was taking off her clothes. And he, uh, where do you come from? They said to him, what the heck? The beggar, he says, aha, I know what you guys are doing. You are doing haram. And he ran out of the tent. The women, which later we'll discover her name is Venus, she said to them, to them go and kill him before he tell the, the people. Then that woman told the two, I swear by my Allah that this man knows you and I swear of your place and has gone to disgrace both of you and me, which means going to tell everybody what we are doing. I will not draw near you. You must first kill him. So if you want to have sex with her, you have to go and kill this guy because now he knows. And now the story continues, and then he says, uh, and you know, the, this woman, she want to find the password for the heaven of Allah. This, this woman, she is not just a woman. She's trying to go to heaven. She want to get the password. Only one who knows the password is Harut and Marut. So the whole drama here is to get the password. And then, before they have sex with her, the two fools, they told her the password. And right away, she mentioned the password, and she was going up to heaven before even they have sex with her. She did fool them. They took off their panties, and their pant is down their legs, and they cannot run now because their pant is down. And you put yourself in their shoes, right? Look what this Abdul saying. You are making a big fuss about nothing. This is a nothing? This is nothing. Allah, he sent two angels having sex with women. This is nothing. And her name is Venus. This is nothing. And the angels disobey Allah in the Quran. This is nothing. And the angels, they question the sin of Allah, and this is nothing. And Allah, he taught the, uh, uh, the Adam the names, and he told the angels, tell me the truth if you are truthful. Tell me the names if you are truthful. This is nothing, which means Allah accusing the angels to be a bunch of liars. For you, this is nothing, my friend, because you are nothing. Nothing can move nothing. You are nothing. Nothing can move you. All this garbage and you are talking about nothing and making fuzz of nothing? And then we find that this woman, her name is what? Her name is Venus. And this is what happened. When she tried to go up to Allah, Allah, he cursed her and he made her a star. Read with me carefully. And this is the star Venus. This is not me saying that. This is the Muslims. Remember carefully, this is not the Christian Prince website. This is the star Venus. She was a very beautiful woman. She had gone to one of the two angels for obtaining some kind of decision. At the first sight of her, that angel, he fell in love with her. And he told her the truth, which means the secret. And this Abdul saying to me, this is nothing. And then the Quran says the Holy Spirit and the Muslim, they claim that Jibreel is a Holy Spirit. When we discover the Quran saying that the angels, all of them, look, if you go in the Quran, it says it clearly that Allah, he ordered all the angels to bow down to Adam. Why? Because they disobey him. He did not say some of the angels. He said to the angels. Do you see it? All the angels have to bow down. So based in the Quran, all angels are sinners. And the verse is in front of you. So how you Muslim, you claim that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit. I will tell you why you do that. Because you are following a thief. And he himself, he have no idea what is the Holy Spirit. This is why when they ask Muhammad, what is the Spirit? He says, well, you know what? Tell them that the Spirit only Allah knows. 
obviously this is not an answer of somebody claiming to be a prophet and this is cannot be an answer from God because the one is saying that is God himself supposedly why in the world God will say only Allah knows when the question is ask your Allah because he knows I mean they are asking him for a reason because he claimed to be a prophet so he might ask his God and then this God he says to him only Allah knows and not only that the Quran even make differentiation between angels and spirit if the Jibreel if Jibreel is a spirit then this verse is wrong chapter 78 verse number 38 the day that the Ruh and the Muslim again they add the word Jibreel it's not there you see the fabrication this is not only a fabrication this is a fornication they are fornicating with their God If the Quran never says Jibreel, why you add it? Can't your God say Jibreel? So your God, he failed to add Jibreel, so you have to add it each time you mention the word the Spirit. Do you see the fornication of this religion? They fornicate with Allah. The day that the Ruh and the angels look at look at the false translation or another angel nowhere it says that in arabic it says the ruh and the angels that doesn't say the angels breed and the other and the other angels if you change the translation right away you will see the drama change liars they cannot even be honest with their book for a second. Look, we just changed the translator. This is Yusuf Ali. The day, the spirit and the angels will stand forth in ranks. If Jibreel is a spirit, this verse is wrong. If the spirit is Jibreel, then this verse is wrong. Why? Because he differentiate between them by what? By his spirit and non spirit. The spirit and the angels. So obviously his spirit is not one of the angels. Same time, he did not say the word and the rest of the angels. If he say and the rest of the angels, I can let it go. So do you see how the thief Muhammad is being busted by the Holy Spirit itself? The Holy Spirit in Christianity is a person. And that person is God, is divine. The Muslims, they do blasphemy against God when they say that when Jesus said, I will send you the Faraklit, they say, this is Muhammad. But the Bible says that the spirit of the truth is Muhammad is a spirit. And you will see here how the Muslims are desperate. Sometimes they make the spirit Jibreel. When they went, even they make Muhammad himself a spirit and the Holy Spirit. This is why this cult is extremely false. It's a messed up cult. And here we get it busted. Same time, if we ask the Muslims, is Jibreel a person? I can tell you a verse, worse things for your Bible. My friend, you see, this is what the Muslims are worried about. They are worried about my Bible, worse in my Bible. When you step across and confirm my Bible, again, you get yourself busted. Look at this. A Muslim, he could not answer any of what we are saying. 
So he shake his head, he eat hummus, and he come with the answer. But Arabian prophet, I can tell you worse things from your Bible. For example, the book of Numbers mention unicorn as if they were real animals. Please don't insult Islam. Abdul, what if I show you that unicorn is exist until now? That will make you a unicorn yourself. In Arabic, this is called Wahid al -Qarn. Let me show you your ignorance. You are a potato like your prophet. I go to Google, prophet Google. Unicorn is not real? This is what you heard from the stupid atheist? He's real. Not like your prophet and your God. And this is Mr. Unicorn. It's in front of you. In Arabic, his name is Wahid al Qarn, Unicorn. The exact name. So when Abdul, like you, says, it's not exist, we laugh. It's exist. You can see them in the zoo. So this is the best you have? The unicorn? I guess now you have one in your head, don't you? Remember, you are talking to Christian Prince. And that's why your, your sheikhs don't dare to debate me. Don't dare even to call me. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything before we leave for today? I have my unicorn waiting for me. Anyone? Your prophet, he have a donkey, and this donkey, his ass is here, and his end is in the horizon. I mean, this is the longest limousine ever, which is a donkey. And then your prophet, when he go to heaven, he find what? He found the Nile River and Euphrates. Look like your prophet did not go to the sky. He went to Ethiopia, my friend. Is that a real animal? Al Buraq? And the funny is, when Muhammad he arrived to what is called the Baytul Maqdis, which means the Muslim they say is exists before Islam, right? But this is the Jewish temple. Jibreel, he put his finger in the rock. Why? Because he want to make a hole so he can tie up this donkey. Have you ever heard of a donkey? He will run away. I mean, Allah, he sent the donkey. And Jibreel is worried that the donkey will run away. So what he do? He put his finger in the wall. He make a crack in the rock. And he tied up the limousine. Are you there, Mr. Unicorn? I think your unicorn is extending. What this guy is naming the cartoon? When he lie, his nose go up. That is a unicorn. Hmm? How big is this donkey? Read and laugh. Uh... Let us read together here. And this is Sahih. You know, they, they will say to you, this is weak hadith. Christian Prince is really showing you weak hadith. This is all that you've rejected. It says Sahih. Read with me. It says, even the prophet, he, he did salat in the top of the donkey. Because he's so big, man, he can run. It's like a stadium. What stadium? From here to the horizon. It says here, uh, Well, the translation here it says, okay, he performs salat in Nasjid al Haram. Okay, and then he says, his, and okay, he was brought a, a beast which was long back, stretching out like this, one stride of it, as far as his vision. 
Do you see how big the donkey? So the donkey is here. And the end of it, you don't see it as far as your vision can go. And still the donkey is going, the body of the donkey. I don't like to draw, but you force me. So imagine, this is your prophet. This is the prophet Muhammad. We made him in blue. And now the donkey, he come to the prophet. This is the ass, this is the tail of the donkey. And the donkey keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Let us take a U-turn. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You have to take a U-turn again. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You take your turn. I, I don't. I, have, I will not uh, get a ticket. Uh, I keep, uh, keep going, keep going, keep. And we take a U-turn. Keep going, keep. Enter the horizon, brother. And still, the donkey is not yet seen the end of it. And you are talking about the unicorn, which is real animal. And now what you will say to me, this is a weak hadith. It is not. We got you busted. And now this donkey is waiting for me, excuse moi. I have to go. And by the way, all of you, you can ride on the top of my, bring your family, bring your town, bring, I mean, the guy is coming to carry this donkey, carrying to carry Muhammad. Why is so big? Look, 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 brother. What happened? Why we left? Why we lost it? Hold on. It took us to different website. Okay. We brought beast with a long back, stretching out like this. One ostrich of it, as far as his vision. So the two of them remind upon the back of the angel. Even Jibreel riding the donkey? I thought Jibreel he fly. It turned to be that Jibreel himself, he ride a donkey. He can't fly. Right? Hmm. Why don't you use the word instead of unicorn anyway? It's just silly. You know, uh, there is a guy, an other guy, he made a comment. He said, the Christian prince, you Christian, you say that Jesus will be called Emmanuel. Don't tell me this is the title. My friend, Emmanuel is God with us and Jesus is with us. And this is why when Jesus, he'd been asked by his disciple, he said to him, why you don't show us the Father? And that's it. Jesus says to him, I am with you all this time. And you do not know me? The one who saw me, he saw the Father. So this is what Emmanuel means. We call him Emmanuel. All names is description, but there's no name for God. Because no name can describe God. No name can hold God. All names as letters cannot describe His Holiness. His power. So when we say Emmanuel, we are just making little, little, little definition that he is the one who is with us. He is everywhere. And that is the Messiah. So look what the what Philips he said to the Messiah. John chapter 14. Philip said to him, Our Lord, show us the Father, and that is sufficient for us. Yeshua said to him, All this time I am with you. And you do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. And how do you say, show us the Father? And then Abdul, he will say to you, where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. Brother Tatar, I train the Christian. You tell me one verse. 
in the Bible said that Jesus said, I'm God with me. You will not find words, not even a single word. In the Bible said that Jesus said, I am the living God. It's in the front of you. To whom I said to him, our Lord, we do not know where you're going and how we can know the way. Yeshua, he said, I am the living God. I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No man come to the Father but by me alone. So my friend, seek salvation and seek refuge by the Lord, Emmanuel, the Messiah, the Christ. There is no name like his name. He is holy and he does holy. He do miracle, but yet he is the miracle. His name is a glory and all the glory belong to him. Everything was done by him and for him. And that is the creation. So a time will come and the Messiah is going to come to this earth. And those who disobey, they will pay. And those who make mockery of the Holy Spirit, they will pay. And those who make mockery of the Messiah, but the Son, the Father of the Holy Spirit, they will pay heavily. The heaven of your prophet is a mockery of God. And the one who do mockery of the true God, he will pay heavily. God is not a pimp to make women for sex. God, when he created Adam, he created one Eve. Just one. You are making mockery of God. If a woman, she cannot be enough for a man, well, million women, they cannot be enough then. Islam is nothing but a mockery. We are happy for our friend that he been saved. He accepted the Messiah. He come to the Messiah. He saw the truth, and the truth set him free. We encourage you, if you have a friend, he's a Muslim, like what happened today. And you like to save him, invite him to talk to me. I will be happy to listen to him. I will speak to him nicely. And as you see, I told him, I am not debating with you. Why? Because there's no Muslim can debate me. And a Muslim usually is not an honest person, especially if he's religious. The more religious they are, the more dishonest they are. Because they learn from their prophet, they can practice taqiyya. And taqiyya means you can lie. The only one who don't lie is the one who don't follow Muhammad literally. Otherwise, he will lie. So I want to say thank you for the one who called us. I want to say thank you all for being here. I hope you guys, you will leave a comment because comment will bring more viewers but you people are even lazy to make a comment, to do any kind of support, to share a link, to tell a friend, but no problem. Remember, Emmanuel, God is with us. So you do or you not. You support or you don't. You share a link, you make a comment or you don't. The truth, always victorious. And if the Lord is with me, who could be against me? Thank you. God bless you all. Take care. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran is mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun 
is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes in it. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 